In addition to that, we found ourselves in a situation where when he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, the families were separated. That's not the right way to go. What I've done since I've changed the law, what's happened? I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where there are 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we can do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. The board, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. He decided to open up our border, open up our country to people that are from prisons, people that are from mental institutions, insane asylum, terrorists. We have the largest number of terrorists coming into our country right now, all terrorists, all over the world, not just in South America, all over the world. They come from the Middle East everywhere, all over the world. They're pouring in. And this guy just left it open. And he didn't need legislation because I didn't have legislation. I said, close the border. We had the safest border in history. In that final couple of months of my presidency, we had, according to Border Patrol, who is great, and by the way, who endorsed me for president, but I won't say that, but they endorsed me for president. Brandon, just speak to him. But look, we had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. And people are dying all over the place, including the people that are coming up in Thank caravans. You, President Trump.